Hi girls, welcome to the Art Hub event. Um, I'm glad you could all join me here today. My name is Juliet and I'm a third year nursing student at Ontario Tech University in Oshawa. Um, this, this session I'm leading today is for my community health placement, which is totally online, but I got paired with you guys here at Trafalgar Castle School. Before we get started, please bear with me. I've never made a YouTube video before, so I feel kind of awkward here talking to a camera, but I'm gonna try my best, so let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna be talking a little bit about how art can support mental wellness, but I think it will be better if you guys are doing something as I'm talking, since I know this session is pretty short. It's only 45 minutes long. So I'm gonna show you the first part of the activity I have planned and you can start thinking about it or working on it and I'll just talk as you're working. Here are a couple of examples of what the finished product is going to look like. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional. Don't judge my amateur skills. <laughs> so it's basically we're going to be painting the background, the sunset, and cutting out this silhouette for the foreground. The supplies you will need are a piece of white paper and a piece of black paper of the same size, um, pencil and scissors, and painting supplies, and then glue to attach at the end. The first step is going to be to think of what you want as your silhouette, and it could be anything, like whether you want trees or a city skyline, like I did palm trees in Toronto. You could also do mountains or whatever you like. Just draw that and cut it out. So this is me drawing and cutting out my City of Toronto skyline foreground. And you can start thinking about and sketching your own foreground silhouette as I'm speaking. So while we're working away on this, I'll start talking about my topic. Um, I know that all of you guys are boarding students here at Trafalgar. Um, I have to admit, I'm kind of jealous. Your school is so beautiful and it seems so romantic and cool to be at a boarding school on your own. Um, definitely gives me Harry Potter vibes. I wish I could come and see it in person, but all of that aside, I'm sure that living at boarding school comes with its challenges as well, especially when we're living through a pandemic and we can barely leave our properties. Um, I've heard a bit about your situation and, and how a lot of you guys haven't seen your families in a really long time, and I'm sure that's a bit difficult for you guys Alright, so here in my tutorial video I finished cutting out my silhouettes, so I was just kind of drawing an outline so I have an idea of where it's going to lay, and then I'll just go ahead and start painting the sunset for the background. So here I'm using watercolor because I really like how it blends, but you can use whatever you like. I just wanted to add that it might be helpful to look up some sunset photos or paintings for inspiration. So while I was painting, I was looking at some photos on my laptop. Yeah, just have fun with it. So to continue with my topic, um, yeah, during the pandemic, we've all had to deal with some pretty major changes. I mean, well, there's a lot less to do outside of the house. There's a lot more social isolation. And there's also, especially near to the beginning, but nerves and anxiety about the virus and spreading it to loved ones, just to name a few. Overall, the whole situation can cause increased stress levels, higher cases of depression, loneliness, and anxiety. So I hope all of you guys enjoy art, because I'm presenting it here as a strategy. Practicing art and getting creative is actually... Um, there's evidence to show that it's a huge stress reliever and a mood booster. I suggest that when you feel stressed or overwhelmed, lonely or down, try putting away your screens for a while and just getting creative by yourself or with some roommates. It's just really fun and relaxing, whether it's sketching a portrait or an object, um, doing a craft, or listening to music and coloring in those really detailed, intricate adult coloring books, or even bringing out some paints. There's a strong connection between frequent art engagement and life satisfaction. So one of the studies I found talks about how engagement in artistic expression is so effective because it combines multiple health promoting or risk reducing factors such as gentle physical activity, social interaction, relaxation, emotional expression, and cognitive stimulation. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed the art project we do today and maybe hang the art somewhere around the school or in your room. And I also hope that going forward you'll consider using art as an outlet to boost your mood and relieve, relieve stress. There are lots of studies that talk about the connection between art and mental wellness, so why not give it a try? Thank you guys so much for joining me here at my art hub. Um, I had a lot of fun putting this together, so I hope you enjoy the art activity. Bye for now.